Got some good news. As of today, I finally have a fully functioning, brand new VRV for the C6 IDI. And uh, I just um, did some more calibrating and got the, the vacuum pressures to spec. And uh, it's really exciting. It took a little bit because my springs are slightly off, which makes the vacuum pressure really hard to control. And also the part where the rod mates with the top of the cap, it has to be perfectly smooth. So I'm gonna have to figure out a solution for that for mass production. But, um, but this is awesome and it's, it's working. Um, I'm gonna throw it on the van and drive around a little bit and see how it handles over some time before I start really going into it. Um, you know, I'm making a couple more of them, you know, I, I got enough parts to start making a bunch of these, but I gotta get the calibration just right before I, they're good to go. I wanna test each of them before I take them out. Um, it's all made in the USA, like every part in here, the plastics I do in-house, but, um, but all like the carriages and everything, like the carriage geometry and everything that's made in New York. I got the flat springs out of Utah and uh, the diaphragms are in San Francisco. Um, and uh, yeah, the screws are made in the USA. Uh, springs are out of Oregon. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Like this is finally to a point where I feel like I can show it off a little bit. Before it was always just a lot of R&D. Um, I make the plastic housings myself too and they're rated to be over 350 degrees. And I also add a protective coating, which is supposed to improve it even more, possibly up to 400 degrees. Chemical resistance is really good. This is laser sintered as well, so it's it's uh, durable, high strength, and uh, high heat resistance. And uh, yeah, this is finally happening.